So to Portugal's idyllic coast and another brand new ATP World Tour 250 clay court tournament, the Millennium Estoril Open, an event maintaining the presence of a Portuguese tournament on the calendar, a tradition since the tour's inception in 1990. The stunning location gave Spaniards Feliciano Lopez and Mark Lopez the chance to enjoy the nearby Guincho Beach, first for a spot of beach tennis, before trying something a little less familiar, joining pro surfers out on the waves. It was a very short time and uh, with them, yeah, it's so easy. They, they're really good teachers, so I'm trying to catch the wave. Uh, so far it didn't work, but hopefully in the next few minutes I catch one. This is Gincho, this is where all the national good surfers come from. We have heaps of good surfers in Qashqais and this is a huge and really good field for, for training. You have all the conditions all the year and having them serving with us was amazing. You, you could really feel the passion that they, that they had for surfing. Yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. The tournament is great, the place where, where we stay, yeah, we have to enjoy this week a lot. It's not only about tennis, you know, Estoril is a beautiful place with wonderful places like this one. They weren't the only players making the most of their time in Estoril. Kevin Anderson and Borna Choric took the opportunity to enjoy the coastline from the vantage point of some classic cars. At first I thought it wasn't going to fit, but actually I get in here and it's actually got quite a bit of space. So um, actually, the steering wheel is quite big, but other than that I fit, uh, actually fit quite well. I just started driving like maybe two months ago, so I expect there's going to be a lot of bumps, you know, stop and go. I really like this car actually, I have never seen it and I've seen only a couple of uh, like the um, old timers. Uh, so I like it uh, for the driving. I know it's not going to be easy, but uh, I'm going to try my best. I've never driven something like this before, just driven newer cars. It's my first classic car that I've driven, so I don't know what to expect. I'm very interested to see how it drives. I've always been a bit of a car, uh, car enthusiast. I've really taken an interest to cars, so it'll be, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yes, it was very successful more than, um, than on my match yesterday, because uh, I mean, uh, I don't know how to drive this thing honestly, but uh, I was trying and uh, in the end I was a little bit better, yeah. Once it got going, it was really nice to drive. This is beautiful, you've got a protected land here and right on the ocean, it was a very scenic drive. The breathtaking Atlantic coast also provided the backdrop for the Millennium Estoril Open player party, where the stars were able to relax before the serious stuff began. Not a bad place for one of the ATP World Tour's young guns, Nick Kyrgios, to celebrate his 20th birthday. It's my first time and um, you know, I'm just really looking forward to getting out here and playing on the clay court that you know that you know that we don't have you know many of in Australia. You know, being a part of such a great tournament is a great opportunity. So, with the players having soaked up the Estoril atmosphere, it was time for the on-court action. Just who would be celebrating at the end of the week? Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, who will reign in Spain? We'll have all the action from this year's Mutua Madrid Open. And scaling new heights, we catch up with a man playing better than ever, Spanish lefty Feliciano Lopez. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.